Welcome everybody, it is Andrew here from Apple Insider. I am excited. I am now at the Zen Door booth at CES 2023. You guys have probably heard the name because we've reviewed a lot of Zen Door products at Apple Insider. And this year, you guys are showing off something very cool. So I have uh, Joe Lee with me. We're gonna walk through the Super Bass V, which is just a really cool power station. So why don't you tell us a little bit about it? Thank you, thank you for having me here. Well, the Super Bass V, we just launched last quarter and uh, we did it firstly on the uh, Kickstarter platform. So it's a crowdfund platform uh, where we actually got like more than thousands of uh, backers you know, from, the, from the whole world. Um, it's, it's actually great support because we actually broke some of the record, right? We actually raised like more than uh, almost like six million in one month wow. and a half. Because that really proves like what our innovations and our product features really fit the needs of our backers. Yeah, and everybody's just really excited about this. Exactly. There's a lot of power stations and the fact that you got right. people to get excited about this one says something. Yeah. So, well, I mean, because the Super Bass V is a completely like, new idea that really supports like the home eco, uh, well, home energy storage ecosystem. So we you know what's going on over here right now, right? You know, with the yeah. energy crisis, with extreme weathers, and even the other days that like, we were told, we were actually experiencing like, snowstorms in the East Coast. Because I just flew down from New York over here. Oh, that boy. was a hard time. I drove like five five hours just because my flight got all canceled. Yeah. Um, I had to drive all the way from New York to Washington just to catch a flight. Well, that's a, that's another story. But I want to tell you about this. The whole um, service V over here is that first of all, each unit over here has 6.4 kilowatt hour. Wow. And as you can see, it's a whole system. This whole system that comes with the 10 units that will make it a 64 kilowatt hour, meaning that in case we have another like a emergencies like a snowstorm hitting us with the whole system. I can, we can support your house within one for a week a without week. any problem. So like your whole house, just everything. Yes, because wow. I have like 7,600 wattage of output. So basically any of the, the um, home appliances that you can think of like uh, your ACs, your refrigerators, your, your washing machines, your coolers, anything that you will actually use for a basic necessities, we got it all covered. So we actually have this support, I mean, can support you for a week. And then the reason why we have a such big capacity, because right now in our portable power stations sector, I would say the single unit will have the biggest capacity. And the reason we can do that because we have the greatest innovations. We actually the very first one to introduce the semi-solid state battery technology into this industry. Okay. And then the semi-solid state, not only is the most advanced, um, battery technology as of now in our industry, the more importantly is actually the safety. The safety and also um, it has the 42% of a higher energy density than the normal MCM batteries. That is why we can support you with such a big capacity and efficiency. So there's a regular version and then there's the one with the semi-solid state, right? Right, yeah. So what we're showcasing over here is the semi-solid state. That's the, uh, that's we call it V6400. And we have another one comes with a lithium battery. So that version is the uh, 4,600 wattage. Yeah, I love that. So it's like the same size, but semi solid state, you get more power. Yeah. It's, it's the just, same size. Just more capacity. Yeah. That's more awesome. Power. That's cool. Yeah. Safer, more power. That's really cool. Yeah. So, what kind of like outputs and everything do we have on these? So, aside from backing up your house, what else do we have like on the devices? Yeah, yeah sure. Okay, so yeah, let's walk through the ports on all the inputs and outputs here. Yeah, sure. So the inputs is all day on the on the back, right? So over here is all okay. output. So one thing I do want to mention about output is actually our dual voltage. This is also a very unique um, innovation that Lindora has with the Super Bass V. So you know how like in the states that where we have some uh, appliance devices that requires either 120 voltage or 240 voltage. So everything over here is all built in. Well, here you can see it's 120 voltage, and then we have a 50 amp. Right, maximum, that's a different like the, the ports. And then we also have a 240. So that really gives you like all the support for whatever you need. And at the same time, we have a type C's and also, almost like, also like a USBs, you know, all these like yeah. standardized uh, um, ports. But at the same time, over here on the side, if you can take a look over here, we have the uh, um, XT90, that is for the solar panels. Okay. Uh, solar panels actually on the on end, but we have over here is the Anderson port as well as the, uh, we call it as the cigarettes, right? The cigarettes. Oh, like the car charger. The car charger, exactly. Wow, okay. So, um, 
all these kind of um, connections that we might have with all the other devices, we, we actually got it all uh, designed here to fulfill the needs. That's awesome. So we got two 100 watt USB C. Right. And this is Type C. Then two yeah. 20 watt 20 USB C. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then we got two USB A. And I love this. So I, I live a little bit in the country, and uh -huh. when the power goes out for us, we lose our well. We don't have water at our house because we don't have city water. Right. So the, the power goes out, we have no water. We can't, we can't fill a bottle with formula for our baby. We can't flush wow. the toilets or, or shower anything. So you need 240 volt exactly. to run a well. And this is amazing. So you know, aside from powering the house, you can still just connect something like that here. That's right. awesome. So what I just mentioned about some of the, uh, uh, let's say, we call it as a critical uh, needed devices, right? So like, like you said, it's like, okay, for, for babies, and then there's something you have constantly to do, right, to, to provide the power. What about the patients, for example? What about people who actually need medical devices? Yeah. In that case, with the unit directly with the 200 voltage or even like 120 voltage, we have a zero downtime UPS. That means it's seamless. So imagine that. For people who are working on the computer all the time, like a data analyst, right? If there's a blackout, normally you will still have like a one or two, two seconds or a milliseconds of like a lo losing of the data. What if you lose all the data? So with our units, you don't have that concern because it's seamless. And then even for the people who actually use like the, uh, the, uh, the inhalers, for example, this is also UPS seamless. That's awesome. And if you had something at your house, like you were using the, uh, the 5G in, at your home, you could connect that and then you'd never lose your internet. Exactly. That is awesome. Nowadays, people work at home. The people work from home. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, what if you lose all the data? What are you going to do? Yeah. Right? And also, like, what if, because last, uh, in the two weeks ago, there are some counties where they had, like, a power outage. People who are working from home, they got nothing to do. No yeah, you can't yeah, work. In that case, the uh, Super Base TV is here to support. That's awesome. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're, I mean, for computers, for all these other, like, electronic devices, this is not a problem at all. Right. Yeah. So it's like it's like actually what it says over here. You can use like the Zen cable to connect like a two SBV main units together, and that will actually gives you the output to up to a seventy two hundred AC output. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Just with this, so you don't have to. So just in case you are not really connected to the grid, you are not connected to the smart panels. There's still a way for you guys to have the maximum output. That's really cool. Yeah. Because I don't know if people can tell on camera right now. Well, I'll get another shot. These are on wheels. Like these, oh, yeah. yeah, like you know, you can, we're powering our house, but you don't have to. You can, you can move these, right? Well, Andrew, like the thing is, I, I'm a marketing professional. I mean, it, it's true. Like all I care about when I see a product is about user experience, right? Because in today's world, it's really about user benefits and experience. So the one thing I like about this is this is a hundred pounds, 50 pounds, baby. It's happening. Wow. So how to make this a portable? How yeah, to make it user friendly? That's a, that's the whole idea. The re we put it here as a motorized wheel, and you know what's cool about it is that we have our software the app. We can use it as a remote control. So you can drive it around like yeah. a remote control car. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it is fun. Later we can actually showcase because yes. uh, we have so many like people actually interacting with us. Like you know, I can, I mean, just I got many backers. We're like, oh, this is cool. It really saves a lot of time. Otherwise, you're carrying you know ups and downs, and you know, it's, yeah. it's very. It's time. It's tiring, so we just want to make it easier for our users to you know to to have the best you know most benefits out of it. Yeah. So yeah, that's the that's the whole idea. The motorized wheels just make it very easy, and uh, not only that, with our software app, you can do a voice control, like a voice over control. Yeah, because it's connected to the Alexa or Google Assistant Home, and the app is very easy to get connected because they can either you can choose a Wi-Fi, or you can choose a Bluetooth. So if you're okay. um, on a yard or you know on a on a camp, I don't know, then you can use a Bluetooth. That's so cool. Is there anything else that you want to show off with a Superbase V? Yeah. Yes. I mean, actually, I have so many things I want to show off. This is really like our baby. We have we our team, uh, our, our thanks to our R&D team, they have put so much effort and time in here. Okay. I just. Uh, this looks familiar. Yeah. So what it is? It looks like a car charger. It is. Bingo. <laughs> Bingo. But that's like a Zen door, so it's a Zen yes. door car charger. Yes. That's the whole point. You know why? Because our SBV, our, with our smart panels, 
let's say, let's imagine if you have a whole system in your garage, okay. and you happen to be a green user, that you have EV cars, what are you going to do when you have all the power? You yeah. use ours to charge your EV cars. And you know what? We can charge two EV cars at the same time, both at level two charging. Wow, that's yeah. crazy. That is really cool. Yeah, and also, um, let's say um, if you're on the road, uh, just in case if you have you know some emergencies with your batteries, you can literally use our um, SPV as your, your emergency emergency backup. backup. Yeah, emergency backup because like one single unit can uh, um, charge it up to like um, twenty miles to thirty miles. That's per, I mean in an emergency that's what you need. Right? Yeah, as for for emergencies. I mean, yeah. Like I was in uh, I went some to I went to the Iceland for for a vacation and because of the snow storm, sto uh, snowstorm and people were like stuck in the, on the road for six hours. Imagine wow. that with the EV cars. What are you going to do? I know. You had to turn it here. And those are huge huge in Iceland. A, a lot of people have EV cars in Iceland and the weather is so unpredictable. I, yeah, that's why I was like, oh my god. I mean, if I have a, like EV cars over there and then there's like a stuck on the road and I have to keep, turn it here because it's super cold. How, how long the battery will last? Exactly. That's another question, right? So it's again, it's about the user benefits. So we are trying to provide different solutions in this case. And we also have another community, like um, we have a huge um, backer communities that are um, RV users. Because um, even in the States, right? Because yeah. I just met many, like, you know, um, our Lindor users, uh, they travel around the US. They're such a cool people. Uh, they got their nice, very, very nice and cozy, um, like the RV cars they yeah. drive down around of the country. So course. yeah, they are they are the big fans of our products. You know why? Because we actually help them in three ways. One thing is like with our SU, um, the SBV, right? For for RV users, they what they really care about first is about your capacity, how much you can support for the for the whole like the appliances that they need, and secondly is actually about the time, uh, how, how much time do they have, do they need to recharge? So for in that case, we provide three, three solutions. One, while you're driving, you can use the, you can interact the, the roof solar panels on the car, connects with the SBV unit. Oh, okay. So you can charge with the roof solar panels while driving. And secondly, is like while driving, you can also like char charge this by your other generators. Okay. So your generators can also charge the SPV, and while you're driving, because you have the engines, right? The engines will also yeah. drive the, uh, will uh, can uh, recharge the SPV. At the same time, while you're recharging the SPV, we also gives you the output in the same way, in the That's same so time. Cool. So output, input, and same time, you got everything solved. That's perfect. And uh, you guys have your own solar panels. Uh, it's just off camera, but these are massive. That's very a huge solar panel. Uh, what's the input on your biggest solar panel? Uh, this one is the 400 watt. So 400 this for, watt. yeah, 400 watt that comes with uh, uh, the Superbase B. We do have another 200 watts that is with the Superbase uh, that we can recommend with the Superbase P. Yeah, that is very cool. Anything else that you want to touch on? Any other questions you might have on, be on behalf of your audience? <laughs> I don't think so. We covered a lot of stuff here today. And just because I know we've talked about the Superbase V, uh, and we won't go into all the details, but if you have not seen the other power products from Zendor, they are very cool. There's the Superbase Pro that we reviewed already. It's you know, slightly smaller than this, great for outdoors. I use it all the time when working in the yard, running my power tools off of it. It's, it's amazing, the best power station that I've used. Yeah, the Surface Pro, right? Yes, absolutely. I just had um, one um, uh, a, a user like from a couple of years ago. He just stopped by. He's like, I just wake up and stop by and say hi because I love your product. I'm like, great. That is all we want here. Absolutely. If anyone wants to find anything else out about Zendur, I have some links down below in the description. You can check out all of their stuff. Mm -hmm. We'll link to your campaign. Anything else that you want to leave us with? Uh, we are actually doing a pre-sale um, for, for the SPV of the SPV on our website right now. So okay. it's the zendor.com. And right now, we actually comes with a bundle. So with us, uh, okay, one thing I do want to mention is that everything's customizable. Mm -hmm. So if you have any questions in terms about your energy consumptions, then you'll know what to choose. Well, our website will give you the answer, right? So we'll That's really you, helpful. Yeah, we'll give you very practical recommendations of what kind of modules you might have because everything over here is interconnected and sure. it's module design, stack up designs. Um, so uh, we do have a very good bund uh, bundle, comes with a very good deal, and it's, uh, it's a hassle just launched on our website. 
perfect. I'll put a link for that down below in the description. Thank you again, Jolie, for talking with me. Um, I hope you have a great rest of CES 2023. Same to you. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you.